Welcome back. A new government, a new direction. Well, just what does that mean for how Pakistan deals with the rest of the world? Relations with the U.S. are unlikely to change significantly with the new government as the coalition remains supportive of U.S. ties with Pakistan, relying on U.S. aid. Again, India is likely to be eyeing events very closely since Pakistan broke away from India 60 years ago. Three wars have shaken the peace. And while relations have warmed, a final lasting peace remains elusive. For the time being, concerns about the presence of al-Qaeda and Islamic extremism will steer foreign relations with Pakistan. We're still joined by guests in Islamabad, Ahmed Raza Kasuri, also in Islamabad, Tahmina Dultana, and Dubai, Javed Malak. Uh, Ms. Dultana, let me start off with you. With all this political fighting that's been going on, do you politicians have time to look at the economy, look at what is affecting Pakistanis at the moment? Of course, we will have time to look at the economy. We will have time to do what is right for our, our country. And inshallah, we, we are going to make progress. We are going to plan for our country. And we are going to plan not for, uh, uh, we, first we were planning for the se national security of our country only. We need to work for the social welfare of our people. And we need to work that they should uh, uh, get water, they should be able to get food, they should get shelter, they should have clothing, education. Okay, health. and how do we you suggest how do you suggest this benefit. happening? Your boss, Nawa Sharif, doesn't favor foreign aid. He says that the country should generate its own resources. How's that gonna work? Of course, it should generate its own resources, uh, as other countries do, as uh, America does. America does not depend on somebody else to give their resources. So we are a country, we have, we have beautiful weather, we've got lovely land, and we've got water, we've got every resource. But it is how we plan and organize and utilize our resources which are important. And it's, we've had enough of the dictatorship. The time has come for General Musharraf to go. He, we do not want any dictator to be here. We want to run our country ourselves. This is our country, it belongs to us. We have every right to utilize its resources for its people, not uh, uh, the resources should be utilized by one person for his own good self. Okay, as you or say, you've got a lovely land, excuse me, interrupting, lovely land, lovely resources, but very little food happening in the country at the moment. And in fact, a lot of women voted for change. Uh, Mr. Kasuri, what happened to all this money in your coffers, particularly money that came from the U.S. to help in its fight against terror? Well, uh, we have uh, utilized all that money very judiciously uh, by taking care of uh, 2,300 uh, uh, kilometer porous border. And the way we have uh, 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 kept vigilance on the movement of the terrorist. So we have uh, justified our position. At one, this stage, I would like to tell you one thing, that this coalition is like uh, uh, wild cats who are tied together with their uh, tails. Once they will see a pot full of milk, they will run helter skelter. And that is what you will see in coming days, that there won't be uh, any synchronization in the thought process or in policy. I think tomorrow, uh, uh, Nigero Ponte and uh, Mr. Boucher are both are coming. And with that also, their attitude will also change because the People's Party attitude is totally different vis-a-vis -vis the president than Mr. Nawaz Sharif. Nawaz Sharif is very venomous. He has a personal vendetta to settle with the president. So therefore, when you have a personal vendetta, and then you become imbalanced in the public life. And that's why he is an imbalanced person. And instead of concentrating on the problems of the people of Pakistan, the economic problem, the social problem, and uh, international problems, here's a man who is talking on a non-issue that removes this dictator. What kind of a dictator is uh, Jarnam Musharraf, who held fair, free, and transparent election? What kind of a dictator is Jarnam Musharraf, whom, whom his own uh, 40 private channels are coming out with a scathing criticism day and night. What ki kind of a d dictator is he that in his own parliament people are abusing him? 
Okay, he, he is a man though that has oh. angered many Pakistanis with his he, relationship he like, with the U.S. He, so, Mr. Malik, are we likely to see a change in this relationship with the U.S.? Well, uh, there may not be any changes in policy because essentially we talked about this in an, in an earlier program that the relationship the U.S. should really be developing would, would should be with the people of Pakistan and should not be person specific. The policies of the U.S. in Pakistan uh, are not specifically for Musharraf or uh, his government. Uh, this should be with for the people of Pakistan. And uh, America talks about democracy and giving freedom and democracy to the world. Now, here in Pakistan, where we have seen that people have democratically elected a government, then America should also work with this government in terms of their joint interest in that region. Uh, the leader of the People's Party, uh, Mohtarma Shaheed Benazir Bhutto, uh, has ha, has had the moderate policies. She has been somebody who has been advocating for moderate policies throughout Pakistan, and the same uh, policies will be followed by her party. Uh, and also, a very, very significant point is that in the northwest frontier of the country, which was uh, so-called um, said to be Talibanized area of Pakistan, you've seen ANP coming through, which is a party which has, of course, now part of this coalition in government uh, of a very moderate party in that northwest frontier. So everything is positive. You've got a government which is democratically elected. You have people who have moderate policies. The vast majority of Pakistanis are moderate people. Uh, and in the northwest frontier, you have a moderate government. So everything is uh, very moderate. Everything is very conducive for Pakistan and American relations. There's nothing to worry about. OK, one of the big worries is the militant scenario. Ms. Doltani, what is going to be done to put a stop to that? We believe that your party is in favor of negotiations. You see, uh, my party is in favor of, uh, uh, I mean, what they are saying, that uh, we have a vendetta. We have no vendetta with anybody. We only want to serve Pakistan. If we had a vendetta with anybody, we would not have done, uh, we wouldn't have gone in for elections or any such things. We would have just boycotted the election. But what we uh, wanted I'm, I'm was... I'm talking about the militants and your approach to stamping out militants in the country. Uh, about there are... There are militants, but uh, the militants have been created because a militancy has been encouraged through killing them. Now, if you talk to them and try and control the situation, nobody wants to be killed. Neither do they want to be killed because those people have become militants only after you have started to kill their people. And the war on terror, which is American war on terror, has been brought into Pakistan, and Pakistanis have been have uh, are being killed. And that's how these bombs are now exploding all over the country and there's not fear only in Waziristan or in Wana but there's fear in, in the entire country. Okay, what Mr. Kasuri, excuse me interrupting that. Will, I want to get in stop. another question to Mr. Kasuri. Let's look uh, very briefly at relations between Pakistan and India. This is something that President Musharraf was able to push forward. Are we going to see a revival of those now? See, the position is that uh, <clears throat> we would like to have a uh, <clears throat> very peaceful relation uh, with our principal neighbor, but uh, on the basis of principles, uh, uh, our uh, resolution in the United Nations in which uh, the Indian government is uh, committed uh, to resolve the Kashmir issue with plebiscite are pending issues and which uh, India has been saying that they are time barred. There's nothing, nothing called time barred. If you have a, a, a resolution which is pending is never time barred. So there are two, three resolutions in which uh, the United Nations has said that these matters have to be decided by the will of the people of Kashmiris yeah, yeah. and we are committed. So, much, so, much and so we are committed for that, uh, that kind of relationship that let Kashmir issue be settled through a fair and free plebiscite. And, and let's uh, leave it at that because I'm afraid we've run out of time. Mr. Ahmed Raza Kasuri talking there. And Tahmina Dultana, thank you very much for joining us. And you, Javed Malak, in Dubai. And of course, thank you for watching us here on this edition of Inside Story. We welcome your comments and suggestions as always. Please email them to us at insidestory at aljazeera.net. Goodbye for now.